Hello, good morning ladies and gentlemen. This is Annie of Sunray 75 channel, the home of educational and positive videos. And the topic that we are going to discuss this time is very interesting. Just the same, it's from the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. Ayan. So, what we're going to discuss this time basically is about are our habits positive or negative? Are they for us or against us? So, let's begin with those practices that are compounding for us. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung mga positive, yung mga magaganda, mabubuting bagay na pwedeng makatulong, makapag-contribute para sa ating kabutihan. So, we'll give some examples here for positive compounding. For example, productivity compounds. Accomplishing one extra task is a small feat on any given day. So, Araw-araw ba ay meron tayong nilista, for example, ng mga bagay na gusto nating i-achieve. So, mga maliliit na bagay yon na ating nilista. And then, when we accomplish them, no, yung, yung isa na ating uh, nilista na na-accomplish natin, then meron na tayong naumpisa na isa. And then, that could give us a positive motivation for us to continue with the next uh, task or activity that we're going to do. Hanggang sa nakadalawa ka na, nakatatlo ka na, nakaapat ka na, at hindi mo na malayan, marami ka na palang natapos sa isang araw. So that's only for productivity compounds. Ang sarap ng pakiramdam that we are productive. The second one is about knowledge. Knowledge compounds. We have to learn no? new things, no? if possible, in all situations. In all instances, ang iba kasi sasabihin ka agad, alam po na yan. So, we have to be open and uh, we have to learn new things dahil alam natin na sa daigdig ngayon, sa loob lang ng ilang taon, maraming bagay ang nagbabago. At kapag hindi tayo natuto ng bago at nag-adjust, we will become obsolete and irrelevant. So, we have to learn one new idea if possible every now and then and we don't have to stop doing that the third one is about the relationship relationships also compound people reflect your behavior back to you so paano ba tayo nagbibehave paano ba natin tinatrato ang kapwa bakit dahil kung paano natin tinatrato ang kapwa babalik yan sa atin and it, com it will compound for us or against us. But of course, if that is positive, we can expect for a uh, positive multiplication of the effects of the things we do and how we establish relationship with other people. And so, let's proceed to negative compounding. Ano naman ang mangyayari sa atin kung sakaling tayo ay negatibo sa iba't ibang aspeto ng buhay? So, let's have some examples here. Alam na alam ng bawat isa sa panahon ngayon at lahat halos ay nakakaranas ng ganitong experience na tayo ay nai-stress sa maraming mga bagay-bagay sa buhay mula sa personal na situation sa bahay, papunta sa trabaho, pagdating sa relationship, and many more. <laughs> Ayan, so stress compounds. The frustration of, for example, the traffic jam, the weight of parenting responsibilities and meeting our uh, needs every day those things can can i mean those stress can compound every day kapag doon tayo nakafocus sa mga nakaka-stress sa mga bagay-bagay sa buhay at alam natin maraming pwedeng mangyari ito yung nangyari ngayon nag-umpisa sa traffic and then later on may irritate ka na and masasira <laughs> yung araw mo if you don't know how to manage yourself and your emotion what else? Negative thoughts compound. The more you think of yourself as worthless, as stupid, or ugly, the more you condition yourself to interpret life that way. Oh my God! <laughs> so, kung meron dapat nang mag-affirm supposedly sa ating sarili, no? Na about our um, appearance and the positive things about us, dapat tayo yun. Because if we are going to think of ourselves as worthless, walang kwenta, stupid, ugly, <laughs> and the negative situations uh, in life that we're going to think about, then that compounds. Not for us, but against us. And the third one is about outrage compounds. 
yung mga riots, yung mga protests at mga iba pang mga negative activities. These things ay hindi lang siya isang activity na nangyari bago magkaroon ng ng riots, ng mga rallies na ito at mga iba pang mga activities na pwede nating gawin, no? But rather, they compound hanggang sa mabuo ang mga bigger activities at iba pang mga bagay. So, as we can see, uh, our tiny, no? Our tiny habits actually can compound and help us or let us suffer. So, kailangan nating pag-aralan yung ating mga ginagawa araw-araw. Are they compounding for us or against us? Because if we put them together, makikita mo, are you living a happy life or a distressed life? Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sunny of Sunray 75 channel. And I'm sure that you are going to learn a lot of things from our discussion here at Sunrise 75 channel.